Okay, so this video is entitled Designing Lessons for All Ability Levels. Now, as you know, as a teacher, this is definitely one of the most difficult challenges in teaching. There's always going to be a range of abilities among your students in the class, and it's your job, and our job as teachers, to craft lessons and lectures that hold the interest of the most advanced students and give them opportunities to express their creativity and their advanced skills. But at the same time, that very same lesson must be rudimentary enough and clear enough that the students who are new to these ideas or whose minds don't naturally gravitate to this subject matter will be able to comfortably keep up and have a productive experience as well. So one of the most basic ways to accomplish this is to just add a difficult, more challenging, possibly open-ended question at the end of a problem set or as an addendum to an essay. And these can be tailored to any subject matter and can really be as technical or as creative as you want, so they can be suited to any grade level or level of difficulty. Uh, you may want to designate them as bonus questions or extra credit questions so the students that don't finish them won't panic. So in this kind of assignment, the first questions or the first writing topics can get the basics from students so that the less advanced students can make progress, learn, and hopefully achieve mastery of the core material. The accelerated students will quickly move through this basic material and they'll be able to challenge themselves and really dive into the one or two more difficult questions uh, at the end. And this will keep them busy while the other students are finishing up. If the less advanced students don't get to the challenging questions, that's fine because they're beyond the predetermined core content of the day anyway. Other examples of open-ended creative projects include, for instance, solving a difficult math problem, writing a rebuttal to an editorial, writing a poem, or explicating a difficult poem or passage, writing a letter in response to a public figure's recent statement or act, even designing the floor plan for a dream house and include the measurements. <laughs> uh, you can do a drawing or painting, either digitally or by hand. You can do a cut and paste collage. Take the point of view of a story's protagonist. You can create a menu, a travel itinerary, a workout routine, uh, write new lyrics to a well-known song or melody, create a study guide even for an upcoming test. So these types of creative assignments allow each level of student to challenge themselves and to get as deep or complex as they would like to. It also keeps all levels of learners interested and engaged, and often for long, uninterrupted stretches. So beyond this approach, there are a few fundamentals when designing a lesson for a classroom with a range of abilities. So number one, you want to assess the ability level of your class. How many students are advanced? How many are proficient? How many are really still developing at a basic level? Number two is assess the specific needs of your class. Where do they really need help? Is it computation or writing, or reading, speaking skills, critical thinking, maybe high level theorizing, synthesizing materials from multiple sources? You really have to target that. And third, identify what core material needs to be mastered by all students and make sure that all adapted assignments adequately cover that core material. Number four is actually develop the adaptations for the day's lesson and they can be based on formatting which is rephrasing and reorganizing. They could be based on delivery so maybe you substitute an interactive computer program or a video for a book or they can be based on content so you, for instance you vary volume or complexity and this all depends on the individual students needs. Number five, you deliver your lesson and offer these adaptations as optional enhancements for students. So at one school where I taught, we let students choose their own contracts. They could do specific assignments to complete a contract that would guarantee them an A, B, or C, and as long as they adequately completed those assignments, that was the grade that they received. And this worked really well for students who just wanted to graduate from high school, for instance, and get a diploma, but it could also work in a college class or at other levels. Okay, great. That's the end of this video. Thanks so much for joining me.